Good evening, friends. Welcome to the Pansite webinar. Okay, I assume I'm audible and the slide is visible. So today's topic is sense and nonsense. As usual, I'd like to find out, have you ever had an opportunity to listen to a talk on nonsense? If you have been, then in the chat box put yen, no, so that I will know whether I'm going to share something new for this audience. If you have not heard, no. Okay, Dr. Ravindranath, no. <laughs> okay, Mr. Anji, no, thank you. Um, All the more, it'll be interesting. Do you know what is Socratic method? If you don't know, put N. If you don't know, put N. Socratic method. Socrates was sentenced to death. And he was, no, okay, Android this one. Because of a crime committed by him. What was that crime? Socratic method of teaching. So what is that Socratic method of teaching? Okay, Nilamji, thank you for joining. This is what Socrates did. He engaged in a thought-provoking dialogue between himself and the students. And he encouraged students to explore their thoughts and beliefs. And enhance their critical thinking skills. So I also will be posing some thought-provoking questions before you. And my PowerPoint slides will be thought-provoking. When you think, and if you think critically, then you will be able to discover what is a fact and what is a fiction and you'll be able to break your assumptions because most of us i use the word most of us have many assumptions i myself have many assumptions over a period of time i was able to throw away most of the assumptions so that is socratic method and because of that one the public, the youth, they were, they became empowered. Now they could think well, and they started asking questions to the authorities. They started questioning the authorities. Then they felt very uncomfortable because the politicians, they allow the masses to remain ignorant. If they are ignorant, it'd be very easy to brainwash them. And because of Socrates, they realize it is a threat. It is not easy. So that is why he was sentenced to death. For corrupting the minds of the youth, that is the charge. My talk is based on efficacy. Facts, I always try to make sure that I provide facts. And facts means indisputable facts to support or substantiate my comments or my opinions. Then experience. I have nearly 50 years of experience of practicing medicine since 1974. And I had the opportunity to manage thousands of patients and thousands of patients means not only they have physical health problems and mental health problems also and the things they do which don't make any sense so based on my experience also i'll be sharing some real life stories then q stands for quotations i love quotations 
and I have a personal collection of more than 40,000 quotations. Thoughts. My hobby is thinking. So whenever I come across a new information, or even it is an old information, I think. I do use different modes of thinking. Analytical thinking, logical thinking, critical thinking, creative thinking. And then I come up with some new ideas, new thoughts. Jawaharlal Nehru's own words, the first Prime Minister of India, facts are facts and will not disappear on account of your life. And my dear friends, it is a, another fact that some people are allergic to facts. Being a medical doctor, some people are allergic to certain medicines, certain drugs, and then they react. They are allergic. The very same medicine works well for others. The same way, the facts also, some people, they don't like certain facts. And especially if the fact is something, their own prejudice, some people have some prejudices or certain other assumptions. And these facts, they will make them feel very uncomfortable. So I know that one. Because I have been giving talks and doing seminars and conducting workshops for more than 38 years. So I know that. But facts are facts. As usual, I usually, before giving any talk, I usually just do a Google search to find out how many books are there on this subject. And if possible, I go to the nearest library. And if the book is available, I just go through those books. Book of Nonsense, Making Sense of Nonsense, more sensible thinking. Definition of the word sense. The ability to make good decisions and do things that will not make problems. I repeat. <coughs> ability to make good decisions, that means good judgment. And we usually say, oh, he is very sensible. He always talks. Whatever he talks makes sense. That means he is able to convince others that what he is saying is logical or rational. Nonsense is an idea, something said or written or behavior that is silly or stupid. Come on. Bakwas Bandkaro. Bakwas means nonsense. Am I right, Nilamji? Bakwas Bandkaro. Or he talks only nonsense. And in USA, they use the word bullshit as a synonym for nonsense. That is bullshit, man. That means what you are saying is nonsense. Information reaches the mind through five senses. Touch, sight, hearing, smell, and taste. Our decisions and actions depend on how we process that information that reaches our mind. My own quotation, human beings are irrational beings. If you agree with that one, in the chat box, put A. If you disagree, put D. So right now, A, Android, Blue Droid. What about others? There are some 18 people. What happened? They are still confused? Or they don't know how to type an alphabet in the chat box. Okay, Neil Damija ji, 
Thank you. Agree. Why others are quiet? <laughs> Shaji Prabharji. Okay, Musamilu, confused. Okay, fine, no problem. Don't worry. If you disagree, put disagree. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not here to, I won't take a gun and shoot at you. Okay, Devindranaji agreed. And believe me, I will, uh, you say that I will be able to substantiate that statement. Okay, Vishnanji, no. Okay. I will, including Vishnanji, at the end. And there is somebody who is confused again. You will find everything will be clear. Believe me, Mera guarantee hai. <clears throat> what is sensible for Mr. X could be non sensible for Mr. Y and vice versa. Is this point clear? If it is clear in the chat box, put C. If it is clear, it is something like one man's food is another man's poison in a way. So what is sensible? Another person, it will be non-sensible. Is this point clear? If it is clear, put C, please, my dear friends. But I want to make sure that is, we are on the same page. Yes, clear, clear, yes, thank you. Now, some examples of nonsense spelling, we'll start from there. Psychology. Why there is a P and why is it silent? Is it not nonsense? If you agree, that is nonsense. Put why in the chat box. Why, Musamilu? Thank you. Knife. Why there's K? And the K is silent. Tsunami. Why there's T? It is silent. And actually what happened was the tsunami is a Japanese word. The tsu means harbor. Nami means wave. In Japan, they pronounce that one as tsunami. They, it is, T is not silent. But somewhere in America, they were not able to pronounce that way. So they started pronouncing tsunami. The same way psychology, that P is not silent in, in French. They pronounce it psychology, psychology. So that is what is happening. Now, nonsense of pronunciation. This one, I don't know how many of you know how it is pronounced. When I came to USA first, I asked for pizza. Pizza. No, it is pronounced pizza, not pizza. Pizza, there's a T. There's no T in the pronunciation. There's a T, pizza. Yes. So, how it is spelled, how it is pronounced. Nonsense. I'm giving you enough examples. Every day, there are plenty of things that are don't make any sense. Illinois. I used to pronounce when I came initially Illinois. It is not Illinois. It is Illinois. S is silent. We in the India in newspapers bomb. No, it is pronounced bomb. That B is silent. This one is not coop. It is coo. Causes behind being nonsensible. Why? There must be some kind of a reason or explanation for being nonsensible. Why some people talk nonsense? People with a closed mind 
Know it all. They are not open-minded. They won't listen and they won't learn anything new and they will talk all the nonsense. They keep on doing something stupid. So a know-it-all type of personality. Conditioned mind. Prejudiced mind. That means if you are raised with certain beliefs, that is why the, all this the conflict, racial conflicts, religious conflicts, oh, that, no, 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 your God is not right. Oh, my God is this one. Everything is prejudice. Divided on the basis of religion, race, color, everything. And their actions will be, obviously, nonsensible. They hate. What is the basis? Oh, he is color. Does it make any sense? Oh, I don't like him. I won't hire this person. Because, oh, his name, is, he belongs to this caste. Does it make any sense? You are not looking at the person's qualification, competence. Your decision is based on whether he belongs to this caste, whether he belongs to this religion. So far, whatever I am saying, are you convinced? If you are convinced, put why. I want to make sure that is whatever I am sharing with you is real life. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Clear. Yes. Convinced. Yes. I mean, so I told you at the end of this session, you will be convinced. And it's so much of this one confident. You'll be convinced that human beings are irrational beings. Irrational beliefs, all kinds of superstitions. And because of superstitions, okay, number 13, or certain days, or if a black cat crosses across the road, oh, no, they go back. Does it make any sense? No. That is irrational being. Ignorance. I use the word voluntary and involuntary. Involuntary, I don't know. If I don't know, obviously I am doing going, I may do something which is irrational. I should not have done that way. But voluntary, I don't know, I don't want to know. Have you seen some people like that? I don't know. And I don't want to know. If you have seen such people, put in the chat box, yes. You know, I have seen some people, they don't know, and they don't want to know. Yes, Dr. Ravindranath. Yes, Musa Milu, yes. And if you give them some book to read, no, I don't want to know. That is what, okay, Neelam Ji, thank you. And stupidity. Stupidity, by that I mean, you know certain things, you are aware, but you do something which you should not be doing. That is stupidity, for example, I'm a medical doctor. So I know some of my friends, senior, junior, we know in the medical education, Alcohol. We learn everything about alcohol during the pharmacology classes. It is a toxin. It does damage to the liver. All these side effects. Alcohol addiction. What will do? Everything. And at least five doctors from my contact circle, they died from liver failure. We have Dr. Shaji Prabhavaran and Dr. K.P. Govomar. There are also doctors. Do you agree? Some you have seen some of medical doctors again because of alcohol addiction, dying from liver failure. Please raise your hand. Shaji ji. Yes. Yes. Agree. No more. Ji. That is stupidity. Is it clear now? You know what you are doing is wrong, but still you do. That is one example of stupidity.
superiority complex. I am okay, you are not okay mindset. So they won't seek advice. They won't ask somebody else. Yeah, I know everything. What does he know? He is a young guy. He is only some 25 years old. What does he know? Hey, I am, according to Shaji Prabhagarin, my friend, he says that he is a CAD. That is a computer incompetent doctor. At least he is openly acknowledging, admitting. But many people, they are not. They think that I am 60 years old, I am professor, and I should ask for these things from that guy. He is only young. He was not even born when I was superior to complex, that ego. And they do all the stupid things. I'm sharing real life experiences, my dear friends. And lastly, poor critical thinking skills. Even though it is last number, that is the most important thing. Many people, they don't know how to think critically. The information reaches the mind through the five senses. For example, say I'm in USA. This is last month. Now the weather has changed. Now it is a spring. Last month, on some days, the temperature was below zero. And we know that is a freezing. The temperature is freezing. If you expose your body to that weather for more than 5 or 10 minutes, you may get frost bite. You may lose your finger. So the information has come through the senses. And then what do some people do? No critical thinking. They go out. It is this one. They risk everything. They don't. And every year, when I used to work in the urgent care as a medical doctor, we used to see during that winter season, at least five or ten patients coming with frostbite. So lack of critical thinking skills. And the Ardu, Manjiam, Teke are putting money, all this greed, and losing all your savings. There's lack of critical thinking skills. So that you do everything nonsensible if you don't know how to think critically. <laughs> sensible people, non-sensible pe people lack common sense. And what is common sense? Common sense is sound judgment derived from experience. That is from the school of life not from mere formal education. You may have BA, BSc, MA, MSc, or PhD. And we do see plenty of people with all these uh, higher academic qualifications. They lack common sense. And this is what my friend, Mr. Govamarji is here, retired from the VSSC. He say, Oh, uh, somehow that font got messed up. That is Arivu, Tirichariu. Arivu und, but eh, Tirichariu illa. I'm going to show you some newspaper headlines, screenshots. Selfie death. Six people who died taking a selfie. At least 259 deaths around the world are attributed to search for the perfect photo. Tell me, is that death preventable? If it is preventable, put why? Is that death something 100% preventable or it was outside their control? It is 100% preventable. What happened? Lack of common sense, nonsensible, trying to take a selfie in front of a, the railway track and there's an oncoming train. Or they go for vacation on a cliff, standing on the cliff. Or in a boat ride or immediately honeymoon couples also, 
recently, at least three or four couples, they died while taking the selfie. So man is an irrational animal. Are you getting convinced? <laughs> Are you getting convinced? Okay, Vishwanathan Paramuji and somebody else was confused. Real life example. Man is irrational. When I say man, it means woman also. Look at Shashi Tharoor. I have put circles. That thread. That one is some kind of a some superstitious belief. Two rings and with a particular color stone. I told you. Even if you are educated, even if you are all those things, we do have certain superstitions. So that is applicable to me also. But I try to limit that one very much down. And certain things, at least you need, I, I find the, I'm religious minded, but I am not very a fanatic. It's some sort of a, an invisible support to deal with certain situations. And Shashi Tharoor, are you convinced? Shashi Tharoor is wearing that, that thread from some temple. And that ring again. Are you convinced? Put see if you are convinced. Okay, okay. Rama Devi Ambadi ji and convinced. Okay. Sarat? Yeah. And Now, this one is going to be, I told you, facts are facts. Jawaharlal Nehru, I'm going to share some facts, which may be new information, and you may not like that one. But I told you, if you are allergic to facts, I cannot help you. But I'm sharing facts. Many suppressed or concealed facts. How would Gandhi's celibacy test with naked women be seen today? That's from Guardian newspaper. Don't think that, oh, they stand that one. It is there in Indian newspapers also. I chose this one because it's easy to make a good screenshot. Gandhi, on the right side, that is Abha Gandhi. The left side is it. Manu Gandhi. They were teenage girls. Kasturba Gandhi, she passed away in 1944 when he was 75 years old. And he stopped having sex with Kasturba Gandhi in 1901. And he was practicing Brahmacharya, celibacy. So after the death of Kasurva Gandhi, Gandhi wanted to test his willpower. He wanted to do experimentation. And he was used to sleep naked with three, these two girls also naked on both sides in the same bed. How many of you knew this information? If you didn't know, Put N in the chat box. I want to know whether I am sharing something totally new. If you didn't know, put N. But Rama Devi Ambadi, Naji, and what about others? Did you all knew, know this one before? Did you know this? No. Musamili, Musamilu? Yes, he knew. Omarji? Yes. Hmm. But Mishananji? No. I told you, Vishnanji, that is irrational. Does it make any sense? 
Now, Vishnaji is around 73 years old. If you want to do an experiment, or Shaji is also around 73 years old, I want to do an experiment whether I have the willpower, celibacy, and the two girls. Does it make any sense at the age of 75? You are a freedom fighter. So you are obsessed with the thoughts of sex. And some of you say, oh, these are all fake news. No, come on, I'm going to give you more evidence, show you more evidence. This is not fake news. Ramachandra Guha, a well-respected, well-known historian, he is talking about Gandhi sleeping with naked. For four years. Now the question is whether did, they, did he get their consent or because he is the, uh, the so-called Mahatma and they oblige. Age difference is nearly 60 years difference. Is it sensible or non-sensible? I want to know. If it is sensible, put yes. If it is non-sensible, put yen, my dear friend. Be truthful. Non-sensible. Non-sensible. Yes, non-sensible. So, I started by saying, human beings are irrational beings. This one example should be enough. And if you think that, this is not true. I am willing to accept a challenge. If you can provide facts or evidence that would refute or disprove my claim, I am willing to give you 1 lakh rupees. I am ready to give you 1 lakh rupees. Not only that, I will stop giving webinars. Okay? Authentic information. Okay, now, numerous ads. If your dick, dick means penis. is less than eight inches. You better read this fast. But how to get bigger dick. Okay. So the penis, sex, a woman, woman has a vagina, and the penis goes inside the vagina. That is what is sexual intercourse. Now tell me, my dear friends, what is the average length of the vagina? Vagina is like a tunnel. So the penis goes inside. What is the average length of the vagina? How many inches? Take a guess. I'm sure that you won't. Most of you won't be able to give the right answer. Still take a guess and put the number, number of inches. So to make the discussion more lively, four, Govamar, Musamilu, eight inches. Don't worry whether it is right or wrong. Take a guess, nothing to lose. Okay, Antony Putan Barakel, five inches. Six inches, Vishnu and Paramuji. Okay, the right answer is average length is less than 4 inches. Most of the time it is between 3 and 3.5 three and inches. And what about the penis and erect penis? What is the average, most of them? The length of the erect penis. Come on, it is going to be very interesting. Chat box. <laughs> Number. So I'm making you more lively. Okay, Vishnaji responded. Seven. And what is it? 3.5. And then you put in Brickell. What about others? The girls are very shy. What is our Rema Devi Ampadi ji? She is a homeopath. Give me a number. Don't worry whether it is right or wrong. The answer is Ramadeviji 6. Answer is between 5 and 5 and a half inches. And when the vaginal length is only less than 4 inches, that is 3 to 3.5 inches, 
why the hell do you need he is asking if it is below 8 inches what is it <laughs> why because the after the 4 inches and the remaining if you have got a 5 and a half inch long penis it is will be outside the vagina and if it is 8 inches what is it going to do okay now the subsequent slides that will tell you how because people ignorance i told you people do nonsense nonsensible because of ignorance so because of ignorance they develop inferiority complex they go and buy spend millions of this one this is a business billion dollar business they sell all these products i'm going to issue some real life ads oh 42 cm big penis okay longer thicker harder that means how many inches nearly more than i think nearly 15 inches why do you need a 15 inch long penis <laughs> when the requirement is only 5 inches and you already have 5 inches or 5 and a half inches so you always feel inferiority complex you suffer and you are nervous you are anxious and you don't feel that is okay i am not why because of the pornography their uterus the porn movies they watch and they know how to all these days you know the video editing and everything they can make even dinosaurs if you when you watch that movie that is a jurassic park they were able to give you illusion yeah this is real so in the sex also all these porn movies everything oh long penis many boys my dear friends please i am giving this talk so that children youngsters should watch this one otherwise their married life will be hell their sex life will be screwed up because of the ignorance which they manipulate they exploit do you agree if you agree put a because i am taking so much effort to make sure that is this session will be agreed this will be useful this is not just for entertaining not for this one yeah 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 just to amuse you there is a echo message and there are penis extender <laughs> being a medical doctor i know for certain nothing will make all these things will do more harm you connect all those things you will develop a pain in the penis then you go to the urgent care then you see the doctor everything because of the ignorant uh, the stupidity now comes the other one to become rich quickly kuber entra oh this also aggressive marketing and in trivandrum there's one guy he says that danakrishna bhairavi entram 5000 rupees oh you put that talisman money will start coming from straight from the sba account to your account not like the electoral bonds i almost like electoral bonds account to account transfer okay white money yeah. people are non sensible they do all these things yeah you are right go marji yeah. and 1971 indira gandhi her slogan garibi hatao landslide victory for congress party and if anybody uses the the critical thinking skills how can you eradicate poverty a population how what kind of a magic pill now even after 52 years 53 years is poverty eradicated no people are gullible potters are gullible that is a secret behind the success that is where the socratic method socrates try to empower this one even now in india potters they vote because of the false fake tall promises made by the politicians so non sensible because of poor critical thinking skills is it convincing if it is convincing put c in the 
chat box because i want to make sure that i am every everything whatever i say yes yes thank you thank you and any putan brickel so like that okay shinan ji sharuk khan oh fair and handsome obviously we get it like five to 10 crores without that one he is not going to enter the product and that what all that one takes only half a day five to 10 crores easy money and because okay he is an actor he is saying there are people who don't even think critically and they buy when they are giving five to 10 crores they make some 20 to 30 crores a profit now they don't even bother to look at what about the sharukan how does he look like real sharukan this is it that is it and is it enough just to put on the face what about your arms are also dark you have to put this whole body you have to put in the legs and everything so one tube may not last for even two days So every month you have to spend some two thousand to three thousand rupees, and I know one of the dermatologists. My friends, a couple of friends, I asked them, "Hey, is it good? This fair and lovely? He said, 'Oh, it is very good.' I said, 'What? It is good for me. I am able to get more number of patients because of the allergic reaction. They get the dermatitis. So by using the the fair and lovely, I am able to make more money. That's what is happening." in the phone based the childhood now children are now their development mental development intellectual development everything is ruined and what is happening now grandparents and parents their ignorance and stupidity both unesco endorses banning smartphones in school 42% children below the age of 12 spend up to 4 hours daily glued to screen survey this is deccan herald india Look at those kids. They are all now good. Screen time, damage to the eyes, vision, everything in the wrong run. And China proposes two-hour daily limit of smartphone usage for kids. Should India follow it? Another one. Last this month, three weeks back in Kota, one guy committed suicide, and he left a note. I can't do J E E I A T. Another student dies by this one in Kota. Sixth case in this year. Is it a preventable death? If it is preventable death, put yes in the chat box. Is was it a preventable death? Yes. And who is responsible? Who is responsible and accountable for that death? Parents agreed. and in that one i i did further research that boy was the only child for that parent now they must be in their 50s or late 40s only son gone now you are going to lead the rest of your life your life will be hell who is responsible because of your non sensible your decision action they were non sensible Do you agree? This is happening every month. I find that is from the quota. So what's the point in having money and everything and the education? And those parents were all urbanites, not rural villagers. Nonsense. Ah, huh, this ad taller, stronger, sharper. Alex, my goodness. outright cheating people don't think critically debt trap indians buying smartphones and loans everything all on loan who she who are they helen keller and president eisenhower she did now all the five senses working she was deaf and dumb but she Was able to use the other senses, touch, smell, 
very effectively she was able to recognize people and identify from their body order just like the dog and she used to touch the face and to feel and everything and lip movements also and she ordered tall books around this on my own my life story published when she was early 21 years old so she didn't have the five senses but she had a lot of common sense but many people they have all the five senses but they don't have common sense upcoming talks next thursday toxic relationships then self imposed limit this is my zoom id number you can take a screenshot if you want to then i am going to ask you the question now are you convinced that the human beings are irrational beings Vishnadin Parmuji and people confused. Are you con convinced? There are numerous more examples. Since we have only 50 minutes, I shared only very few. Plenty. Plenty. And was this session interesting and insightful? If it is interesting and insightful, put why in the chat box. Before every talk, I spend a lot of time doing reading and research, and I don't have any assistance to prepare everything. Everything I make the PowerPoint slides. Everything, I'm the just like a, I'm the actor, director, screenplay, everything, one man show. Now I welcome your questions. Questions means questions. If you want some clarification. based on the slides i showed you nothing outside what from what i talked for the next 8 minutes then after that we can have discussion that can last for any length of time i don't care because i will stop the recording exactly at 9 o'clock and if you ask question be specific point it okay go marji please unmute your microphone and if possible Are you open your the video? Yes. Yeah, very nice presentation, Varno. I just wanted to uh, know your uh, uh, opinion about two things, sir. See, what about astrology and uh, this uh, Vastu? Huh? Okay. Now so people are uh, because uh, people are. I know how so many people they uh, when they get some mishaps and something like that. Uh, there is some uh, go to some people and say that this is your uh, that uh, uh, kitchen is the here there i know one person who spend uh, lakhs of money in uh, she reconstructing and uh, she has gone into debt also so is it not uh, irrational thinking and uh, it's a another example of what you have said i just want to know that okay okay so i i'm always honest you know that i am truthful i don't like astrology i believe in astrology but not in 98 or 99% of astrologers they don't know anything about astrology they are they are cheat you but i had the opportunity to meet an astrologer 32 years back or 33 years back 1991 i went i approached him to get something find out another issue and i made sure that is he i didn't want to disclose my identity about my professional background and all those things. consciously i i didn't wear pants that day i removed all the jewelry and i went to the local temple and i spoke to him in slang malayalam slang so that he won't be able to know that is where i have, I have some education also and i gave him my horoscope and that guy after looking at the horoscope he didn't ask my name nothing he didn't ask me about my job or anything He said that in the local Malayalam, he said that निंगल एक 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 बिशक गुरनाम that is a doctor and is that not a surgeon and I kept a very poker face expression I didn't want to give any clue from my facial expression I didn't react I simply stared at him. 
when he told me that is a you must have been outside India, not the Gulf. I mean about the West, either America or England. At that time, I had come back from USA. Again, inside, I was feeling very much surprised how this guy was able to. But again, a poker face. Then again, he continued and he said certain other things also. They were all true. Then he got angry. And he slammed the book on the table. <laughs> if what I'm saying is right, you say right. Others say wrong. You are just looking at me just like an owl. He lost his cool. Then I said, yes, right. Ah. Then he said, at that time when I went to him, I was around 39 years old. And I didn't have any idea or any inclination or no plan to go abroad for higher studies at that time. And he told me, before your next birthday, you will leave this country. Again, you will go to the best, England or America. And you will get two more degrees. Hey, I thought, what is this guy saying? Two more degrees? And I was going to be 40 years old? And he saw, he read my expression. He said that, I know that you are going to be 40 years. But that is what your astrology horoscope says. You will. Before your next birthday, you will leave this country. I thought this guy is talking nonsense. Early sense, now nonsense. <laughs> that is what I thought. This is nonsense. Then I, after two or three months later, one day, while I was going to went to a bookshop to browse some books, I saw the exam books. I was not actually keen in going abroad. I just flipped that one. Biochemistry and all those things. I finished that biochemistry when I was 19 years old. So within that 20 year period, lot of developments, lot of new enzymes, lot of things, all new information. If you want to pass that examination, you have to read a lot, study a lot. Out of curiosity, I thought I will buy this book. And at the end, there's a post test, 100 questions, multiple choice questions. And you can evaluate whether you have understood, whether you are able to remember. I just bought that book. And seven days, I spent five hours every day. Then I took the test. I was able to answer more than 70% of the questions correctly. So I felt motivated. Then I got all the books. Then when towards the end, as it was going to USA, nearest exam center was Singapore. I had already been to Singapore. I thought, why not I try a new place? Then I thought, why not I go to London? Okay, exam was nearing. I said, anyway, I'm going to London. Why not I just try for the MRCP? I had completely forgotten about that astrologer's prediction. Believe me. And I went to UK. Everything passed. Then one day after I passed the MRCP examination, part two also, on a Sunday afternoon, when I was taking a nap, suddenly I remembered about this astrologer. And I thought, okay, he told me that he's a... I will go before the my next birthday, yes. And I will go to and two degrees as I was already I already obtained MRCP. Yes. All those things. Yes. So I believe in astrology. Nobody else. After that, I, I must have consulted a few astrologers. Bullshit. Nonsense. So I believe in astrology. About the Vasu, I don't know. So I don't make any comments about things which I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Shaji, quickly, shoot. No, no. I think stupidity is a bliss. You agree? No. When it is folly to be wise. No. Okay. So that is a question. That is a comment. It is not a, uh, okay. You agree? Okay. Question. Uh, you can say it is a question. Stupidity is not that one. I gave a talk just a few months back. Psychology of stupidity. If you have not watched, please watch that one. That will clear all your misconception. So I don't want to repeat the same thing. Psychology of stupidity. For that one, I spent nearly 20 hours of reading and research. Watch that one. Okay, now I'm going to stop the recording and don't go away. We'll continue with the discussion. So recording, I am going to stop. So please share the video recording once you get it.
with as many people as possible. Govamaraji, I will call you. I'm going to stop the recording. Then we'll continue the, uh, the discussion.